This is 34-year-old Daniel Barton, and on the 5th of December 2022, he found an unmanned police patrol vehicle and for some reason decided to take it for a spin. Looks like uh, somebody just stole my vehicle heading uh, northbound. Okay, did you take your vehicle? Okay, for the vehicle 106 heading uh, southbound on Holton Street. Lights are still on. Uh, Holton <laughs> what? Holton and. Over the radio, Barton could hear the officers closing in on him. He hadn't thought this far into his plan and now needed an escape strategy. For some reason, Barton seemed to think he could just steal an officer's vehicle, abandon it, and run away without facing any consequences. It didn't take very long for the officers to find the poorly hidden suspect. Eight five five, come up to the alley, sounds like. Put your hands on your head. We're behind the apartment building at the alley, just south of Berlin. Ready? Stand up. Stand up. Daniel Barton was charged with taking and driving a vehicle without consent and abandoning a vehicle. Due to the nature of his crime, a medical examination was carried out to determine if he was mentally competent enough to be tried in the first place. He was found competent and could spend up to six years in prison and pay fines of up to $20,000 if found guilty. Good afternoon, a Las Cruces man is now charged with aggravated assault against a police officer after a wild pursuit late Sunday night. The man in question was 21-year-old Abraham Quezada, and on the 30th of April, 2023, he climbed into the bed of a random truck without its driver's permission. Less than a mile later, he overheard the driver calling 911 and leaped off the speeding truck, sustaining multiple injuries in the process. Soon enough, deputies with the Sierra County Sheriff's Office found the bloodied and bruised suspect. What's going on? Stop and talk to me. What's going on? What happened? Central Sierra 20 feet advisor passing. What's that? Can I remain standing here for now? What happened? I, You're I not under know. arrest right now, dude. What happened? I I'm trying to figure out what happened. I don't want to talk to you again. Who are you? Give me help. I'm, yeah, I have an ambulance on the way, man. But I gotta tell them what happened, man. What's going on? Okay, how, how so? What's your name? Abraham. Abraham? I'm Enrique. So what happened? Sorry, bro, I don't speak Spanish. Were you in the back of Did you just jump out of a truck? Yes. Okay, why were you in the truck? Because I was doing incorrect stuff. Okay, like what? Can I please... Come and stand... Get out of the road. Come stand in front of my unit. 
Is Come, that it's in front of my unit. Get out of the road. Abraham. 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 Central Sierra 20 RP. Abraham was clearly suffering from his injuries, but he still would not cooperate with the deputies. Abraham. 22 Central. The individual identifying himself as Abraham. He stated that he was the one in the back of the truck and jumped out because he did bad things. He's walking away from me right now. Good, copy, sir. Still walking northbound. What's that? You're gonna be calling me crazy. I'm not calling you crazy. I'm trying to figure out what's going on and how, how I could help you. Tell me how I could help you. Tell me how I could help you. I'm sorry? I wanna go to heaven. You wanna go to heaven. And how do you plan on doing that? Okay. Well, what is going on? Why'd you jump out of a truck? You were misbehaving? So you jumped out of a truck? Okay, what were you doing? Drugs? Well, people have done worse things. Drugs ain't that bad. We could work with that. Stop walking. Stop. Stop. Please get off the road. No. Look, your your head is all bloody. I have an ambulance coming. I don't want the fear. I want peace. What? I gotta sacrifice myself instead of you for calling me crazy. I'm not calling you crazy. I'm trying to figure out what happened. What drugs are you on? Okay. When's the last time you used? Right now. Okay. I don't have a problem with that, man. And I'm not here to call you crazy. I'm here to help you. Okay? Dude, you're, you, your head is busted up. Probably have a concussion. You're f there was no getting through to this very clearly heavily intoxicated man. Abraham's paranoia would only worsen as more deputies arrived on the scene. <clears throat> hey bro, you okay? No. What's going on? Talk to me. What's, what, what's going on? What's going on? Talk, talk to me. Have, yeah. a, have a seat right, right here, bro. Have a seat right here, bro. Have a seat right here, bro. What happened? Are you okay? No. Are you on drugs or anything like that? Yes. What do you want? LSD. LSD? When's the last time you, like, that you took LSD, bro? Today. Today? Okay, so what I need you to do, bro, is sit on the sit on the ground, okay? I have an ambulance coming to check you out, all right? I don't want you walking, or I don't want you to do anything stupid, okay? Instead of following orders, Abraham was able to outrun the deputies and take control of one of their vehicles, forcing the deputies to open fire on the fleeing vehicle. They missed, but Abraham didn't get far, crashing the vehicle only seconds later. <laughs> Hands! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! I will blow your goddamn head off! Let me, Let see, me your see your hands! My gun's right there where he's laying. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! I see both hands. Let me see your hands!
Yo, what's my check, bro? You got me. Let me see your hands! It's right there where he's laying. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Shift down, shift down, shift down. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! I see both hands. I see both hands. I see both hands. I see both hands. You got gloves on, Gonzo? He had accidentally hit another officer's squad car, mangled his legs in the wreckage, and was now stuck. The deputies needed to pull him out before he lost even more blood. Push her. Let go! Let go! Let go, bro. Let go, bro. Yes. Gonzo, I paid him. Let me see you real quick. Sorry, if I can get this door open. Okay, bro. Okay. Someone we'll block off traffic over there. Stand by, Sasha. <laughs> Is he not buckled in? No. I'll reach under there. Find his armpit. Yeah. You got his armpit. What's on? Legs broke. Abraham Quezada was pulled from the vehicle and taken to a local hospital for immediate medical assistance. He was subsequently charged with two counts of aggravated assault against a law enforcement officer with a deadly weapon, unlawful taking of a motor vehicle, and resisting and evading an officer. He could spend up to seven and a half years in prison and pay fines of up to $16,000 if found guilty. Next, we're in Volusia County, Florida, where a suspect stole not one, but two police vehicles within the span of a few minutes. The entire ordeal started with reports of someone creating a nuisance outside of a hotel and stepping in and out of traffic. When officers arrived at the scene, 33-year-old Xavier Cummings entered one of the patrol vehicles and immediately took off. I want Edgewater to start helping with the traffic. Traffic down on 95. We got it. Sanchez, we can get with all agencies and have them shut their arm ramp off, please. Copy. Hey, Mike, I thought I saw smoke as he was coming around that corner, so it shouldn't last too much longer. <laughs> Guys, give me your speed. We're about 105, 110, trying to catch up. There's still a little ways away. It's pretty good traffic. Still south of that there one's got it, if you want to call it. 10 3, 10 3, someone just hit him into the woods. Cummings had been driving for nearly an hour before he was finally stopped. Nonetheless, the officers needed to exercise caution as they approached the crashed vehicle. Shut it down. Car in the woods, can't see the driver. Does not have eyes on the suspect. Alright, 
Everybody, heads up. He's trying to drive the car out of the woods. All right, guys, we're going to get two shields. We're going to approach. He's trying to rock the car back and forth so he's still inside. Look. When they get a shield, let's pin him in. Just as the officers were about to grab the elusive suspect, he ran out of the total vehicle somehow, making his way into another police cruiser and drove off, despite being tased by an officer. Hey, y'all, do not walk up on this car. We got enough people up here. This time, the deputies would use stop sticks to bring this high-speed chase to an end. Traffic stopped on the on-ramp for Dunmall. Still no traffic northbound center lane. The channels are patched. Now it's five. Which car? Is the Coco car? Coco SUV. Coco SUV. In the shoulder right now. Okay, vehicle is smoking, vehicle smoking north of 95, or north of Dunlop by about a half mile, going into the inside lane. Be advised that's a SWAT officer's vehicle. Don't be in the same lane with him, you're going to lose debris all over the road. Inside lane, you start to slow down. About a quarter mile south of Williamson overpass. With his tires blown out, Cummings had no choice but to surrender to the authorities. It's underneath the over uh, the wires. Underneath the wires. In the median. Xavier Cummings was arrested and charged with grand theft of a motor vehicle, grand theft of a firearm, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, armed burglary of a conveyance, escape, fleeing, or attempting to elude law enforcement, and driving while license suspended. He could spend the rest of his life in prison and pay a whopping $70,000 in fines if found guilty. This is 33-year-old Anthony Alfonso Sanchez III and his decision to steal a patrol vehicle ultimately ended in flames. On the 20th of June, 2023, Otero County deputies needed help dealing with an armed suspect who had been leading them on a high-speed chase for almost an hour. Within minutes, multiple Colorado State Patrol officers were en route to the suspect, ready to make an immediate arrest. Out of the vehicle! 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 Out of the vehicle!
got you. Get out on the ground. What the f***? Hands behind your back. I just, I just, behind your back. What's going on? Down the ground. Okay, I got it, I got it. During the chase, Sanchez had deliberately caused multiple accidents and was later to be found in possession of a firearm. As a result, he was cuffed, placed in the back of a squad car, and left alone so the deputies could conduct a proper search of his vehicle. It was loaded and chambered. Sanchez had just stolen a police vehicle, triggering a high-speed chase with a very dramatic end. Thanks to some well-timed stop sticks, Sanchez's vehicle crashed into a parked truck, flipped over, and burst into flames. The deputies only had minutes to save the wounded suspect. Do we got anything? Yes. Here, let me move that computer, Jay. That whole thing will swing out of the way. Or at least it would have. Hey, if I can get him to give me a hand. I can get this computer out of the way. Just give me a second. The back ain't got out of the way, you should be able to pull them out. Yeah, you get it? Alright. Here, I'm pulling them out this way. This is getting the fire off. Oh. Oh. Alright, see what it looks like on the inside in case you need something to shove up underneath that. 
Anthony Alfonso Sanchez III was eventually pulled out of the wreckage, but died from his injuries at a nearby hospital. 800 miles southeast of Otero County, we arrive at Lufkin County, Texas, for another suspect's failed attempt at evading the police. On the 2nd of September, 2017, 33-year-old Tasha's sponsor left an Ulta beauty store and was met by an officer asking to stop and speak to her. Sponsor refused to cooperate and ran away. Multiple officers were then deployed and she was quickly apprehended. The officers had received reports of a possible shoplifting at the store, and Sponsler running away made her a prime suspect. With the accused in the back of the squad car, the officers went on to search her bag for any stolen items. Knowing she had drugs on her, Sponsler decided to make a very ill-advised escape. Sponsler had slipped out of her cuffs, crawled into the driver's seat, and nearly ran over an officer during her escape. She would spend the next 45 minutes expertly evading her pursuers. She was now in Zavala County and had no intentions of slowing down. That is, until she was hit by an effectively executed pit maneuver. Yeah. 
Tasha Sponsler was charged with five felony counts of escape with the threat of a deadly weapon, aggravated assault, unauthorized use of a vehicle, possession of a controlled substance, and evading arrest. She was found guilty on all charges and is expected to spend the next 45 years in prison. Click the video on screen as I delve further into more cases.